Without fear before our enemies, we have sworn an oath to restore Biafra, or we die in the process. There will be no retreat and no surrender. If the option they give to us is to seek our restoration by violence, the every living thing living in the zoo will be destroyed. All the animals will be destroyed. It's a promise and a pledge we are making to them. They must understand that we just don't love our country. We are fanatical about Biafra. We will do everything humanly possible to ensure that Biafra comes. It is either the flag of Biafra is raised up or I am lowered into the grave. One of the two must happen. It is better for this heaven and this earth not to exist than for Biafra not to come to pass. We dedicate it into the hands of Chukwabiyama, the creator of the heavens and the earth, because only him decreed that we should exist as a race and only him has the say to decide and to determine if we are to survive or not. We don't rest our hopes in any man. We don't believe that any country can do anything for us. We are going to reaffirm our faith in the supremacy of the creator of the heavens and the earth, Chukwabiyama, upon to whom and in whom every glory and honor belongs to. That's why we worship him and nothing else and no other. We worship the one true living God. That is who we worship. That is why we are created. We are not like any other people. We have been chosen by Tukwa Biyama to serve him. We have been chosen by the creator of the heavens and the earth that we may serve him. That is why in our names, it contains every praise imaginable. Every praise imaginable to the Most High is contained within our names because we are very special people. We are here to reaffirm and retract that. We are here to ensure that this very much towards our freedom cannot be hindered. Any obstacle on our way, real or imagined, man or woman, adult or child, anything it is, once you are an impediment to the restoration of the sovereignty of Biafra, you will be destroyed completely and totally in every way imaginable. We do not forgive. There is no forgiveness in our dictionary. We are here to ensure that the death of 3.5 million people is not forgotten. It is to them that I owe every ounce of loyalty and obligation. They are not here to offer any advice or to ask us to forgive Go on. They are not here to ask us to forgive Haruna. They are not here to ask us to forgive the Yoruba people and the Yoruba family. The reason why we exist is to ensure that their memory, that they can never ever be forgotten, that their memory will linger on forever, that as long as man walks this earth, this world will remember the 3.5 million people that they killed. Men and women that did nothing. Children that we are innocent. Their only crime is to be blessed by God. That is the only crime they have committed. As those children were being slaughtered, as they were being starved to death by a very wicked and cruel world spearheaded by a war. Everybody looked on and did nothing. Instead of them to help us, they ensured that our absolute blockade from land, air, and sea was absolute, that we may die, that the children of God may die. But lo and behold, Chukwabiyama determined that we cannot die, that we cannot perish because we are his own. Despite all our iniquities, despite all our sins, he made us in his image. 
He gave us that very edict to worship him, and that is what we do every blessed day on this radio station, without fail and without the fear of any human being. Talk less of an animal in the zoo. We are here to worship Tukwa Abiyama. For those who don't understand what Tukwa Abiyama means, he is the creator, the supreme creator of the heavens and the earth. And to him, we owe everything that we are. And upon him and to him does every honor and glory belong to to you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, once again, to speak to you, to reveal certain things to you, before I will come finally to tell you who and who that plotted the death of Ikonso. If you're watching me this morning, I want you to know that my morning is not good. When I open my line to take calls, please don't tell me good morning. I beg you, do not tell me good morning. I have the way I handle my program. The world is watching. The whole world is watching. Don't say that I am rude. I am begging you, first and foremost, not to tell me good morning. Because the morning is not good. And the morning cannot be good until all that have hand in killing our men and Commander Ikonso, we test that food that they have prepared. That same food that have given to this great man, they are going to test it. I'm threatening nobody, but I'm letting the whole world know that we are freedom fighters. We are fighting for our nation. We are freedom fighters and we are fighting for our nation. 
and the Janja weed is busy killing us when Boko Haram is busy killing them in the north, sacking them from their from their barracks. Our mama people betray the consul. India one mama the one neha. The people that betrayed the consul, the people that fingered, that leak the movement, the in and out flow of the consul to his fatherland, is people from our mama. The gallant men that we are fighting to defend us. The gallant men that have sacked all full and men in Imo State in total. Is whom they have killed. Commander Ikonso, I salute you, sir. I salute you. I salute you. I salute you. You are great. You are great. Yesterday night, Mazin Namdekano, for some of you who doesn't know him, shed tears for the consul's death and those men that died along with him. If you watch the program and follow it, you notice that at a point he couldn't continue the program. But being a brave man that he, he is, he picked up his pieces and continue the program to a certain period of time. Ndiye meka gaya yonya. Ndiye meka gaya yonya. Ndiye meka gaya yonya. That means what these people want is for full and henchmen to take over our land. That means what they want is for the full and henchmen to chase us from our father's land and take over our beloved land, the land of our ancestors. That is what the Eastern governors are planning. But before I go on, I have very important information to pass to you through this channel. That is why you must share this. Because on this platform, Will tell you the truth for me for me i am dead i'm saying it every day i am on this platform i am a dead man walk i have died so there is nothing i'm not afraid of death anymore because i'm i'm dead already they killed my own brother because son came so many of you that knew me knew how soft I am when it comes to the life of Biafrans. When our market is burnt down, most of the times when I come up here to speak to you, I shed tears. When our people are being massacred, while hosting my program, I can't hold my tears. I do cry. But when I got the news, that the consul is dead. Tears run away my eyes. Tears have left my eyes. That should be a very big signal to each and every one of you that knows what a tears of a warrior means to his people. I am not praising myself to be a warrior. But I'm telling you that I'm a man that is ready to die for Biafra to be restored. What is the, what, excuse me, what is the use of life? What for? What does the life mean? What am I living for? When I will be alive and my mother will be raped, my sister will be raped, my fathers will be kidnapped, my brothers will be slaughtered in a broad daylight. By full and men. What is the use of me being alive when the people that have volunteered themselves to safeguard to protect our land has been killed 
by the governors that they voted for. Betrayed by his own people, their own people, from their own community, from the same our mama where Ikonso come from, is where they have betrayed Ikonso. Iko, Iko, Iko. Wherever you are right now, I know that you're looking at me. You're watching me. You're watching over me. He told me that it is over your dead body. For you to be alive and watch your mother being raped, to watch your sister being raped, watch your brothers and sisters being killed, the Fulani can never ever take over our land. And you gallantly fought like a warrior that you are. I thought I was giving a clear definition of Ikonso until Mazen Namikano spoke yesterday in Battlefield. Ikonso is more than a million man. That is the word of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. And we're going to mourn you in a special way. I said that Ikonso was 1,000 men in one man, but I was wrong. Ikonso was 1 million men in one man and more. He fought gallantly. And Imo State was stable. Imo State was at peace. There was no killing of anybody in the bush anymore because of your leadership. Tokna do leader. Udogum. The whole world is crying for you, Ikonso. IPOB worldwide are shedding their tears on your behalf. Everybody is crying. Because another one million Ikonso is out there, sitting, seated, waiting to be provoked. And now they have been provoked. I am among the one million Ikonsos out there. A man that says no to extra judicial killing of his own people. A man that says no to raping of his own mother and sisters, a man that said no to Fulani leadership and the conquest. He consult, he consult a prudent man, a man that said no to bribery, a man that, that refused to take bribe from Nigeria government. That is who you are. I shall mourn you forever until we meet to, to until we meet to part no more. You consult. You consult. Since day before yesterday, I am feeling like joining you wherever you are. I swear to God, last night I could not sleep. Last night, I couldn't sleep. If I close my eyes, I see Ikonso standing in front of me, speaking to me. If I want to sleep, I remember Ikonso, an innocent man that was tagged a bad name and slaughtered where he was sleeping, not in any battlefield. Not in any exchange of bullets. Who killed the consul? Eastern governors killed the consul. Who paid for his head? Hope was the man from a mama paid for the head of the consul. Because he wanted to buy him, he refused. Then he paid for his life and got him killed. Then who betrayed the consul? His own brothers from our mama betrayed him. That is to tell each and every one of you that is watching this video. Like I used to tell each and every one of you always that Fulani is not the reason why we have not gotten Biafra. 
UK is not holding us back. It is our brothers and our sisters that are holding us back. The same to us in Biafra land are the people holding us. Right now, as I'm speaking to you right now, they are on the run. So many of them are moving out of Biafra land since the death of the consul. Whatever information I give to you here is correct. Most, some of them are beginning to vacate Biafra land now, as I'm talking to you, because of the death of the consul. Because they know that the death of the consul is war unto them. The first information I want to give to you this morning, and that is why you must share this program, is that Fulani first men, Fulani soldiers, are now moving with Kekena Pepe in disguise. They are moving using Okada in disguise. They are moving using buses in disguise, using Siena in disguise abducting our young youths across Biafra land. What is their strategy? They want to reduce the number of men that will stand up to fight for Biafra restoration when the time comes. How are they, are they applying? Applying. They will enter KK, they begin to talk about Eastern Security Network. They will begin to talk about Namdekano. They will be supporting him. They will be speaking in support of the struggle. They are waiting for whoever that is going to join in that conversation. They are moving with taxis. Take note about this information. They are moving with taxis, in buses, in Siena, car, in Kekena Pepe, on bike, and even in the gathering, in the place where people are eating. In Biapalo, in Italy, they gather in. Once you, you speak in support, the voice is back. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you people hear me now? You said no voice, but my voice is coming back right now. Can you hear me? Please confirm that you can hear me loud and clear. Thank you very much. You can hear me loud and clear. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, my voice is coming out again. Beautiful. You people should know the fight, the war we are fighting in the front media war. The enemies are fighting us, trying to mute my voice, trying to stop me from speaking to you. But I must continue talking. If worse come to worse, I will do a video and post it later, or even a voice. These people are moving around kidnapping our young youths. They think that they can terminate as many as possible youth that they have, that they want, that we have. So that when they come in open confrontation, that there will be no younger people to fight. That is why they are moving around with Kekena Pepe, with taxi, with buses. I am not part and parcel of the people that make voice notes and posts. I speak and you see my face because I am not afraid of death and I am not a terrorist. I am a freedom fighter. So take notes. All of you that are in Biafra land, Take note of this information. If you're boarding a, a, a taxi, a KK, a bus, whatsoever, seal your mouth and mind your business. Leave the fight. 
for the gods of the land because the death of Ikoso, the blood of Ikoso have watered the ground. The seed that is going to germinate is going to be a seed of, of vengeance. The blood of all the people that they have killed, Ikoso is going to raise them. Take note of what I'm saying on this platform and share it. DSS, I know you're watching. America, Europe, the whole world is watching. I know. If I don't speak now that I'm alive, it's not when I'm dead that I will speak. He also have shown us that he's a gallant man, that he refused full and his men to kill our mothers and rape our sisters. Now I am speaking to you without any fear of anything at all under this planet Earth. I am only afraid of Juku Hikabiyama, who can kill my body and my soul, not those that can only tamper with my body. Take note. Ikonso was betrayed by his brothers and me, his own people that he's fighting for. That is what is happening. That is what is happening. Pardon me. Just give me one minute. Dear friends, lovers of freedom worldwide, all of you that are watching this program, I am sending this to you as a signal that you may learn, that you may have information about what is happening on the ground at the moment. They are picking our boys, killing them secretly, one after the other. We have committed no crime. But they come, they speak about ESN, they speak about unknown government. Once you open your mouth in support of Nandikano, ESN, they pick you up and they got you killed secretly. This is what is happening to us right now as we speak. So I am giving you this information that you may know the battle that we are fighting. I am not a coward. And I will not shut up. I will keep speaking until Biafra is restored. If I die trying to protect my people, trying to protect my land, so be it. Because he is dead. He is a human being. And I know I'm going to die someday. But before I die, I must speak and let the whole world know the reason why I'm going to die. If you say you are afraid to die, you don't want to talk because you don't want to die. They are picking our young men. So it's better you begin to speak out and join this movement before you die. Our leader told us, he said, they are going to kill us. We are going to kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra will come. Now I want to give you another information. Take note of this information I want to give to you right now. As we are speaking right now, the Fulani 
Boko Haram have entered Igwocha. Igwocha is known for, as Potakot. We can have, have invited Boko Haram Fulani soldiers. They are escorted. These people, they are, they are, they are escorted by Nigeria Army. This Boko Haram that they are brought into, into River State right now. Let me call it River State so that for you people will understand. For those of you that are not conversant with the real name, which is Igocha, they just entered. 30 Homer buses full loaded. 30 Homer buses full loaded. Those machineries, those fighters that they are telling us that they kept. That is going to fight to us, fight us. It's already in Igocha right now. 30 Homer buses and this is Luxurious buses and coasters have entered this into Igocha right now. I am using this platform to speak to international community to take note of what is happening right now. 30, oh my goodness me. Homer buses, 30. Six Rosillos buses. And the coasters, full loaded with full and ingest men. With Boko Haram. With those fighters that they promise you that they have kept for you, have entered the water this morning. Some of you will say they cannot do anything when Mazenan Khan was calling all of us that we should stand up. Some of you will say they can do no, they can't do us anything. God will not agree, and yeah, nothing will happen. Go say it, go. We can have invited them. Very soon you will hear the numbers of those that are, that have entered the state too, Enugu State, Anambra State. That brought those their machineries that will fight and kill all of us. Who are the only people that are fighting and defending the land? ESA. And their commander is down in Imo State. They ambushed him where he was sleeping in his father's house and got him killed because of. But I promise these people one thing. He who is on the ground fears no fall. I repeat, he who is on the ground fears no fall. Onye no na anade ato jodida. At all. Jeffrey land can never be taken over by jihad with the support of the governors. It's impossible. As the north is burning, they are sucking them out from their out, out, out from their barracks. They are sending them down here to keep killing the innocent people who have nothing, who have no gun or no bullet, only but asking for our freedom. I told you 30 buses, 30, 30 have entered the water this morning. Six Lozillos buses full loaded with all the Boko Haram. Those that have imported from Chad, those that have imported from Mali, from Niger, from Senegal, from Cameroon, they are already in Biafra land now. They enter this Ugocha. And from Ugocha, they are going to dispatch them. You think when we tell you that these people know what they are doing, you think we are joking? Is that what you think? This is why Ikoso said, I can never be alive. And watch these people take over our land. And he marched as the commander of ESL in Imo State. And under his command, there was no report of kidnap, of killing, of raping in Imo State. All of you that are watching this program this morning should know. That those enemies that have been threatening you with war have entered their land. 
Those that have been threatening you with war, we are going to burn you. We are going to kill you. The same way the north is burning, that is how they want Biafra land to start burning right now. You know that? You don't know that that is what they have. They, 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 have, they have planned. Back to Ecosos betrayer. I've given you this two information. The way they are kidnapping and killing our young boys and the, the number of buses that is loaded with their killers, their machineries have entered into Biafra land. State to Iwocha escorted with Nigerian military through mobile. They are mobile. They are armed. On this platform, I see the horse. That's why they bring and give you. I don't paint it to make it beautiful. Ikonso was a warrior, and he remained a warrior, and I will forever mourn him. But all you saboteurs that are running away now, hiding your faces, there's no place for you to hide. You have no place to hide. Myself, myself, myself. I have considered myself dead. You guys don't understand what I'm saying. When I'm out of me, I have considered myself dead for fighting for my freedom. I committed no crime. I have committed no crime. I am only speaking for my people, telling the whole world what is happening to my people. Because during 1967, it was only Radio Biafra and called by Okonkondi that was speaking for all the people of Biafra. But now, we have so many people that are speaking for us. And I'm giving you every information on this platform for you to know. No, Regiela. After Mazen Nam, the kind of brokers yesterday night, they have pulled 30 buses full loaded of Boko Haram fighters. Three full loaded Lozilos buses. And the other coaster buses into Biafra land after his, his program last night. For your information, they send them to Iguacha to disguise all of you, not saying they will not say that they bring them to the southeast. They took them to Iguacha from Iguacha, they are going to dispatch them and they will, they will equip them and give them a uniform. These are Boko Haram. These are Boko Haram that Nigerian soldiers have put together. For your information, you think we are here joking? No, we are not joking here. We are serious. And for me, you see the death of Ikoso. Just upon the announcement of our leader, they have imported their killers into their farm. And from there, they want to share them, divide them. But we are here. That war that they are bringing to us will not only be fought in their land. Our fathers fought a defensive war. We are going to fight an offensive war. That is if they bring war to us, as they have brought, by killing a man who is fighting to protect our land. That means they do not want us to protect our land. They are senators, apart from any near When the time comes, all the governors that are planning now to fly to run out of the Niger, out of the country to fly abroad, IPOB are everywhere in the world waiting for you. For your information, my name remember as well as it who became a good year for one. One day, I will need you on my matter because you will be. I have died before, I have died before. 1967, they killed me. So dying again is not a, it's not, it's nothing. 
But I tell you that you that is preparing to take my life, one mom, one mom, I am bo, babu ni maro ke malo, juese, juese, alo sana one mom, the body, ihone me, abu mwa mire, makada mama. As you are preparing to kill me, make sure you are not taking water. As you are preparing to destroy my life, make sure you are not eating food cooked with water. As you are planning evil against me, make sure you don't bath with water. Make sure you don't eat any food cooked with water. I am sending it to you as a warning. In general, you will get general zone. You can't What what am I left? What can you do there, man? What is the sweetness of this life without you go my own blood, who is fighting to defend our mothers and our fathers. Some of you doesn't know what is happening to us. But as you are listening to this program, you are beginning to understand why, Mazen, why God preserved Mazen Namdekano. You are beginning to see the reason why Mazen Namdekano was not killed, was not murdered. I was there, Ikoso was there. You know, my operation pattern does too. September 14, 2017. Was it 2018 or so? Sorry. When I remember he console what I run away my eyes. I what I run away my eyes. When I remember he could what I run away my eyes. I I what I run away my eyes. What I run away, what I run away, what I run away my eyes. I I what I run away my eyes. When I remember Jamaica, water run away my eyes. Aye, aye, water run away my eyes. Water run away my eyes. Water run away my eyes. Aye, aye, water run away.
ndi awo mama ndi awo mama awo mama mo bodo nje monu awo mama mo bodo nje eko awo mama obodo nje abamba awo mama obodo nnam obodo nnam awo mama awo nde marama ndi mfuru na yari nne tubige hoke why Kedi hu nu juere wa nunu wena rego awo mama why did you sell your own son your own brother to the enemy why awo mama I am not calling all the people of our mama but I am telling the world that the people that sold Ikonso are from our mama how in that world? my next program is when I'm going to tell you the names of those people that sold Ikonso and collected the money my next program I promise you this. I'm going to mention all the names of the people have hand in the course of death. I'm going to mention the names and I will tell you how it happened. All the concerned people, those that have been looking for Ecosos head. For years now, you have you have finally got it. Burnt his house his house down. Killed him. Your bullet couldn't penetrate his body. You captured him while he was sleeping. And you killed the consul. Our mama, why? Obodo wo ya ju e de bube. No kwa nko buda haguna. Body can not go on, body can not go on, but see, he can not go on. I want mama, why? Why did the people that betrayed the consul are from our mama? Why? Why? Is the hour you are happy now, but indirectly, you are, you are, you are shedding crook at your night years, making your video. Is the hour the consul that protected you? Is the hour. The consul that fought for you as your war. The consul that did a lot for you. In my own presence, I'm not talking about hearsay. Nobody say you consul tell me when you visited Nigeria two years ago. You told the consul to call me that you want to see me. This is your war. I came with the consul to visit you. We went to a joint. And because of the trouble you are causing here and there in our mama, you are you are afraid. Somebody was trying to park his car and mistakenly block you. You jump up, calling Iko, 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 have you Iko, have you He also jumped up with me. Is Yawo me? More of a presidente. My job is to be them. I jumped out with the consul from where we are. We came to your rescue. The man was not even attacking you, just that he blocked your car. And because you are afraid, you knew what you did, and you are afraid. We came out, we spoke to the man, and the man moved his car away. He drove out. Is your work? You are going to tell the world what he did to go so. What you know about the consul's death? I'm calling you. You are the first person that I mentioned your name on this platform. The first person that has hand in the consul's death is the award. You know nothing. What the hell, man? I'm going to go. No, two chairs before. I'm going to go. 
I want mama. I want you people to know one thing today. Everybody that has hand in the consul's death, his own death will be worse than that of the consul. If you go to the north, Boko Haram are living in people's houses and their family members knew, but they can never call police. They can never no, open their mouth. They seal their mouth bam, like this. Boko Haram. They have wives. They have children. They have family members. And nobody will report them. Nobody will, will talk about them. Talk now. But you people, India, our mama, his own bro, in his own father's house, he was betrayed. In his own father's house. What a world. The same thing that you people did to do during the war. In his own father's house, no, not near, kind of betray here. Because of money. That money that you collected on the head of the consul, you cannot enjoy that money. You get here. My next program is going to be a bombshell. When I will mention all the names, he also told me. He told me. He mentioned names. He said, he called me. He said, my brother, if my house is attacked and burnt down, if I am killed today or tomorrow, these are the people that you are going to hold, that Biafras are going to hold responsible for my death. He mentioned names. It's going to shock you people to your bone marrow. The names that he also mentioned to me. He confided in me. He told me. He also is my brother from another mother. For your information. He also is my blood. If nobody will speak for he also because of the tag that is placed on he also. I, Mazo Elizabeth, I will speak for a consul until my dying day. I have to speak for a consul now that I'm still alive. The consul committed no crime. As if he knows he was going to die. He made mention of the people that want him dead in our mama. The consul gave me details of the people that want him dead. Those that want him to be to be killed. Do you know how many petitions that we are written about the council that be written about the council against the council? Do you know how many times they wrote a petition against him? The council is a freedom fighter, a bomb freedom fighter. In our mama, in Umu, where the council come from, if you are intimidating somebody, if you are intimidating somebody, the council cannot hear it. Once he goes on here, if he comes into the matter, he buys it, it becomes his case. That is why they hated him before he joined the struggle. Because it's not a thief, because it's not a killer. Because I have never taken any life of any man whatsoever. Because is a freedom fighter, he fights for the freedom of his own people. Because is the first person that rose. That that, 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 that that raised Jaffa flag and made sure that IPOB was established in Umo. He also was the first person that wrote that that that, that flags up Biafra flag when Nick Ben was was buried. He hosted Biafra flag at the at, at, at the at the barrier of Nick Ben. I was there. He also have protected. A lot of people in in Umokwe, in our mama in general. He also have protected so many people that you have been intimidated by those that are stronger than them in Umokwe. He also is gallantly protecting the life of innocent people in Umokwe, in our mama. 
He also is known as a man, see no evil, no no evil. Hey, he go, oh God. Manototo, manehihe, manabani, maneke, manorie, manafo, manangwa, agomia oblofo, urekuo se, kahara bundere ni konso, Mandesi ni kunia, mandesi ni kunia, mandesi ni zinono benia, mande nia, mande obodoya, mande norano, mande balisu, mande na lego, agromo foni siuno tata wesi, eke ori afo unko, ayana no boshina no, onu gabo kuno, onu gabo kuno. On vous gabo qu'on a. On vous consomme d'accord on vous nomme. Nous y a une jolie chiche. Que si ne nous si nana, si na miri si ni kuku, si na jofia. Où est toi on nous? On nous garde nous. Réure, réiburu, ibura na puto naro. Ma God, gana puto naro. Kuru ni nera, bunde balizu. Où est babo the people that are fighting for our freedom, people that are defending our land. Unu ni ile kunura. Akwa mwa humwa na numwa. Akwa mwende 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 gede. Akwa mwa ni ile nana na biafra. Akwa kumunu. Binitenu. 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 Ikoso. Akwa nite mwa geba wapene ino. Binite. Jamaika. Moshe. Chinedu. Kahali nera. Ukeze. Onyeze. Unu ni ile mwende 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 mwende. Na njema yano nini ya. Odume kwa juku. Konel atu ziye. On va tuer vous. Ou nous dit, il est comme le défenseur, comme le défenseur. On a dit que moi, nous n'y sommes pas bien. Ou en nouveau. Nous sommes bien. A quoi il y a aussi. Quand nous n'y sommes pas. Moi, nous n'y sommes pas. 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 Nene na lego ni kisi si konso. Umu ni konso nda uwa mama na lego ni si konso. Nde kuni konso ama ndendo. Nde kuni konso. Ama aso fom nana. Ama aso ya 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 nana. Ni konso. Ama na mebanya mili mujelo. I don't know where my tears have gone to. Look at me. I can't cry. I don't know where my tears have gone to. I don't know. Oh, they are going to come. Oh, they are going to come. Because you told me, you mentioned names of those that wanted you dead. I'm not going to reveal that name today on my next program. On my next program, the world we know those that he comes to mention before he dies. The names and the families and where they come from, all of them from A to Z. All of you from A to Z. Ununine, Konura. You go to the Katopomo, same one name. No one naturally young. Na, I want my man Kayano Nimia. Do you know how many times petitions have been written against this guy? By the people of our mama because he was fighting to defend the land. Iko, agami puru go anugi. Kita amdendo. Jen koma, wadogum. Don't rest. Keep fighting. From that side. Our line is open. I only want to take but few calls. Only but few calls is what I want to take. And when you call me, please don't tell me good morning, don't tell me good afternoon. Tell me as it is hot. I'm sure you go talk. I'm okay with it. But don't forget. Do not forget that the enemies 
have surrounded their fellow. They came with 30 helos, 30 buses, not helos, 30 buses, six helos buses and coasters. Welcome to this program. As Hello. Hall. Welcome to this program. As in the hall. My fellow dear friends and lovers of freedom. A few days ago, we lost our gallant hero. Now we commend God to report his soul in perfect peace. Please. Those are our, 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 our fellow brothers in the African land. Our brother has spoken. Please try to listen to him and listen to his uh, listen so that they will reduce the abortion of our people in the African land. Please. And what I want to say, those people who have been sabotaging, uh, sabotaging our, our, our struggle, they, they know themselves. Those, especially those people living in their own land. Please, we are begging for a non government to go and locate, even if it is, if it is better for them to destroy whatever, even if it is their family wrong. Those people sabotaging this thing, we cannot be waiting any longer. We have to show example for one or two persons so that they can stop it. Someone like Obi Denu. He had a building in his own town in Anambra, who the same thing. And I want have a building in his own mama. Please, what, what we cannot get those people, let us go and destroy whatever structure they have in their home. Please, let us show example from these people so that other people will learn. Everything we keep on talking, especially that one they call Utene. He has been criticizing and Stopping this thing every day. He said we cannot do him everything. The other cannot do everything before he keep on writing. If it is little something they have in their home, let us go and put it down. Let us show example. As I want, have a good photo in his home. As I want, compound to be destroyed totally. You understand me? We want everyone, let us show example from what they want because they have been talking every day that we cannot do anything. Those are our gallant zero in Japan land. Let us do the needful about these people criticizing all of this thing, sabotaging this thing. People are calling the uh, full idea or Nigerian government. Nigerian government are not the people disturbing us. It's our leaders, our brothers in Japan land. They are the ones disturbing this Japan not to come. They should stop calling the pain or Nigerian government. This let us start from the take chances to keep at home. Okay, brother. Thank you very much for your contribution. Yeah. Let me answer another person. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. If you call us, tell us as the hot machine will talk about. You have only about two minutes to make your contribution. All the people that have hand in the course of death, I will make sure your name. And heaven will not break loose. You pay money to anybody to do whatever you want to do. You will not see me. You can see me. All the enemies of this struggle that have been sabotaging this struggle, and those of you that sabotage and kill the ghost of get ready. Welcome to the program at City Hall. You are not talking. I don't want people that will come and take our time here. There's no time to wait. Welcome to the program at City Hall. When I answer your call, you tell me, say, I see the hot, now show you go talk. Him. Welcome to the program, I see the hot. We are angry. I see the hot, now show you go talk. Him. Go ahead. Your brother, Mazi, Mazi, we are angry. Mazi, do you know on Saturday, on Saturday stroke, Sunday morning, Mazi, I couldn't sleep. When I listened to your program, that was there. That was on on, on Friday night between around the, uh, around eleven o'clock. I come over the program that is already you have already made the program. When I listened, I heard from you that the God is there. That was the first time before I became 
see what is what is happening in the media. Man, I, I couldn't sleep all the whole night till till around three a.m. to four a.m. in the morning. Man, they kill me, Koso. They kill me, Koso. Man, they kill me, Koso. They kill me, you know. We shall never forget. Anybody, this night is in the field of the Koso. Anybody, who is in the morning, on behalf of the field of the Koso, Somebody please borrow me his tears or her tears. I can't cry. Somebody borrow me his or her own tears. I can't find tears in my in my in my in my eyes anymore. Ah, because so. What I what I run away my eye away my eye. Yes, welcome to the program. Go ahead, you have two minutes to make a contribution. All right, uh, please, I want to pass on information about the information according to them. I wrote it on my channel this morning. I want our people to be very careful about all this on their program. Stop going to their program. When you go to their program, they will, you will call them. They will from there and be sending you some information like maybe you do to know that this happens, you know that the other thing happens. They will look at your reaction. Your reaction on that WhatsApp chat you, you, you call them from. 
From the WhatsApp chat, you call them. That is where they will be contacting you. Sending you fake news. Sending you fake news about I bomb at ESN. You will react. And when you react, they will be able to ask you what is your Facebook name. You tell them. From there, maybe you may tell them I have a brother that is in Hyper, I have a brother that is in ESN. You have passed information. From your Facebook, they will sell us out. They will sell the person out. Many of you know what I'm talking. You people are going to those people's page and listening to them. One lady that is called Bless Tom or Bless Tom. When you call her, she will take your WhatsApp from here. She will send you some information. Thank you. After she will ask you, what is your Facebook? Go to that lady. This is current. Go to that lady page now. One boy from Asia was telling the, the lady that one of his brothers is an iPad. Imagine. You, don't, you will not know when you see your brother out. After the lady will be chatting that boy and ask him on Facebook. And know the brother, that, that is brother, that is an iPod. I sell it to all these political governors. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Okay. I, I got the information you are pushing out here. But yes. I, I want to tell you something. Okay. IPOB is not a terrorist organization. We are not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your peace. IPOB is not hiding from anybody. IPOB are not wearing face masks to cover ourselves. IPOB is in the open. IPOB is registered in the United Kingdom. IPOB is registered in France, Italy, Germany, Sweden, United States of America, United Arab Emirates. IPOB is registered in Brazil, in Australia, in New Zealand. IPOB is registered in, in, in 120 something countries of the world. The government of this world acknowledge IPOB as freedom fighters, indigenous people of Biafra, the highest mass movement on this planet Earth, led by Mazen Namdekano. If anybody is saying or being afraid, acknowledging himself as an IPOB, forget that person. I am yeah, I'm telling you. I am yeah, coming. Yeah, listen to I me. Know what you're, listen I to know me. What you're saying. Listen to me. When you talk, when you when you talk, I was listening. I want to correct that okay. impression. I want to correct okay. that impression that some people, some people, are telling the woman that their brothers are members of IPOB. I want you to know that everybody from all Eastern region is an IPOB. So if you tell somebody that your brother is an IPOB yeah. member. I don't see any. You are, it is not hidden. We are all IPOB. We, we are not hidden. We are not. We are not even. We, it is not, you. You need to be proud. It is benefit or not. Yes. But what I'm saying is. Why listen, 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 listen. Can you listen to me? 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 Even the governor himself, that is killing his own people. Is also an IPOB. Are you do you know, do you know that? As yes. long as he is a Biafran, he is an indigenous person of Biafra. Yes. As long as you are born in Biafra, you are from Igede, you are from Ijo, you are from Ishekiri, you are from Anand, you are from Ibo, you are from Ibuakere, you are from Urobo, you are from Ijo. You as long as you are from Igodomi Igodo, we are all Biafran, we are all IPOB by birth. So the issue of people denying themselves as IPOB is not even there. That is why when the IPOB leader, Mazen Namdekan, will give order for seat at home on the Chamber market that is the highest market in the whole Africa. On the Chamber market has the highest number of billionaires in the whole Africa. On the Chamber market, we shop.
Are you are you bad? Don't go. We shut down. We put the wheel. Shut down. Lord, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you don't, I I will have to put you off so that I'll be able to explain explain all this. The information you pass is correct. I took it, but I want to straighten to let people know that you you cannot put fear in the heart of the people about their identity. Today, we do what people are out there telling the whole world we are we do the worst. We are fighting for our freedom. Today, Ariwa people have come out to say that they are Ariwa. Today, the people of Middle Belt are also asking for, for, that they are Middle Belt. And we are Biafrans. So any any issue or any, any word that is coming contrary to say that we should not be acknowledging ourselves as, as IPOB members, I don't take it. I am a Biafran, an IPOB member. By birth. And so is every one of us. And I want to tell each and every one of you that is watching this program. If you're a lover of freedom, if you're a lover of freedom, a follower of Mazen Namdekano, in this struggle, I appeal to you, let the world know how much we love Econso and the ESN. The first commander of ESN that, that was brought down is Econso. He has paid an ultimate price. Please, Share his picture. At least, even if, if it is only but from now to 30th of May, or even if it is only two days or three days as you can, share his picture. If you can, use it as your profile. Let the world know that who they killed is an innocent man that is fighting for your freedom, for your own freedom. Not a criminal as they tagged him. Not a killer as they tagged him. The only way, the only way you can want Ikoso and appease his spirit is by sharing Ikoso picture, using it, it as a profile picture. Let the world know that we love Ikoso and they are killing a man that is fighting to defend our land. That is what I want to appeal to each and every one of you. Ikoso died defending our land so hey i love because so hey i miss because so but come on to share his picture use it as your profile post as a profile picture you cannot because you think you are free because the nigerian government have tagged him as uh, the people that are burning everywhere in the state fuck them fuck you people because unknown government came out as a matter of after an NSAS protest they came out because the SARS have been killing people, harvesting their organs, and the intimidating people, shooting them at sight. And the unknown government have emerged. And started operating and avenging the death of their own fellow people. Plan. If you see Konso picture, if you have not used a console picture at least for 24 hours on your timeline, it is time to do so. That is only where the spirit of the console will be happy wherever he is. Knowing that, yes, that the people that I am fighting for, the people I fought for and died for, acknowledge my services and my gallantness. Yes. This is what I have to tell you about how to show appreciation. But we are going to money console. We are going to money. Go to money console. So, if picture is 
on my, on my platform, on my Facebook wall. Go there. Upload it. Let the world know how much we love this guy that was killed. Go wall. Speak up. The whole world speak up. Sharing the picture. The whole world was there sharing the picture of this person that was killed in France. If anything happened in Europe, you see the whole world standing up, sharing the picture. Today, it has happened to us. If we cannot share his picture, if we cannot use the, the closest picture to, 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 to show appreciation, then you do not like the closer and you do not appreciate his walk it was protecting you one minute please Yes, I'm back again, my brothers and my sisters. Sorry for that interruption. I have a caller on the line. The caller, please, stay where you are. Stay where you are, the caller, please. Stay where you are. Just one minute, please. Yeah, go ahead, the caller. Go ahead and talk to us. Okay, my name is Matt, Michael Ibrahim. Michael Ibrahim. Um, definitely, you see a lot of my write up. I, I live in the UK. Um, we are really, really sad about what uh, is happened to our, our, our brother there and uh, our mama. Definitely, I know our mama, but was, that's why I finished at the war when, they, when we were fighting in Nigeria and Biafra was. I, I know that our mama, I know the place very well. Um, what well, I have to say, uh, let me tell you quickly. Um, it is said that a pattern died, but never surrendered. Our people are doing a good job. Let us keep at it. Let us not give up. Isn't that those people who are setting up a background, a okay? Those are our enemies. With what they are setting up, they are. Uh, handing us over to our enemies, they are spies. What we should do is to turn them into enemies. I was looking at the video, I uh, saw so, um, purpose of the mass residence being damaged. I don't know who did, who did doing that, but that is what they should, they should be getting. All of these people that call themselves governors, and uh, whatever they are governing, I don't know. They are dragging us back into the enemy's hands. What we should be doing is to kill them first. These uh, governors are like snakes in our homes. We need to get rid of them first. We may not kill them, but we go and destroy their, their homes and property and make them uh, have some fear and some respect. For our people. In my land, we've never known our people to be cowards. I saw the first public, I saw our politicians. Our Zeke, look at the way, all the rest of them. 
And how many of them they go who not anybody will join in, in Nigeria? These sort of people are, are bastards. They are not the sort of people we should spare. Any little opportunity we have, we should deal with them. Look at the um, Ebony State. That's where they slaughtered 50 something people. I don't hear anything about them again from the government. But when you touch any Fulani man, they will help us at the address and they will rush and go and pay them uh, 200 million. But our people that are killed, we live in our home. We are not the ones going to look for trouble. We have the right to defend ourselves in our homes. People of mine should never succumb. Probably outside people succumb to the planet. We are this a minority group. We should stand up and trust them. In fact, my ambition is to see that we collaborate with all these other big groups that are doing middle belts. And those who want to work with us and confront the Puranis and kill them and chase them back to back out of this country. My brother, sorry to take all, all your time. That's what I'm saying. Thank you very, very much for your contribution, my brother. Your, your contribution is taken. Well understood. Please, like I said before, do not forget to tell us as the host, my sweet Mukutoka. I want it like that. Everybody is in sober mode. Our leader Mazen Namdekano is in a very serious sober mode. Our heart is boiling. Our heart is seriously boiling. We have lost great men. The council wasn't the only person shot and killed. Other men were also shot and killed. But the council is the commander. And now, now that they have killed him, they are going to see the monster in the spirit and heart and body and soul of those that he could so die while protect, while protected. And who killed him? Eastern governors. Eastern governors killed him. <laughs> Welcome to the program, I see the horse. I see the horse. That's what I will tell you. Go ahead. I'm Chisum, a non soldier. Go ahead, two minutes, please. Um, all the, uh, all the Biafra all over the world, we are mourning what happened to us. And we will not relax and we will not surrender. I will. I want to stay here today is that please, anybody that has any vital information should not make it public. Anybody that have good information should not make it public. Yeah, please let the person make it confidential. So let everything be within intact, within ourselves. Even their children, wherever they are, we will make it as a confidential matter within ourselves because we have to watch each other back. We have to watch each other back. So any information we get, we make it within ourselves, not to be in public. So that is. Only way we take your mother or take your brother, take every family. That is the Gaddafi style. And that was what they used in Liberia. If we can understand, come on. That is the people that betrayed our people. They betrayed our people in Liberia. With the money in Liberia. If any, if any 78 intact is here now, you will understand what I'm saying. So let's make this thing intact so that we will get them one after the other. And we will have their record that we will play for our children to hear. God bless you. Thank you very much for your contribution. Yeah, friends. 
I don't think I can continue this program again. I don't think I can continue this program again. I'm going to bring this program down any moment from now and see the hall. I have my I have my reason. I have my reason why I have to bring this program down any moment from now. My heart is boiling. But in their one mama, why? In their one mama, why? When I'm going to go to the devil, baby. Bruce and Rosie are the best here. I'm going to If Martin Nam the Kano is not a great leader, he will not give command. And the way Tenugu will be shut down. One day will be shut down. A more going to go will be shut down. Even the market where the African people are training in other states used to shut down. In Kotonou, the African market, they used to shut down. Whenever it's time for us to remember our fallen heroes. Because so, the mighty Iroko three. That was giving shelter to a whole Biafra land and Igbo state in general. They fall you. Our mama, why? I'm asking this question. For the people of our mama that have sold their own brother to the enemy. Because of money, you want him to come and take money, he refused. He said no to 10 million naira. He said no to 20 million naira. He also said no to 50 million. 50, 5, 0. He said no, I'm not interested. I can never betray Mazenam the Kano. I can never betray IPOB. I can never betray the leadership of ESN that was bestowed on me. And I will never betray Biafra in general. Take your money. Then that same money was shared among some people. And they begin to make calls to give information. The radio I listened to yesterday was saying, saying that the Nigerian military have started social -so -so operation and uh, they're gathering information from people. That is to tell you that the enemies that we are talking about are our brothers and our sisters. But our mama, why did you kill Ikonso? Why did you allow Ikonso to be killed? You should have protected the consul not to sell him out because of a couple because 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 of because of a peanut that fell out. The peanut that fell out from the table of your slave masters. Someone is on the call. Welcome to this program as the host. As in the heart, as in the heart, so I don't get happy, I don't get joy. I don't get joy. I wanted not to call on this program, but I can't enjoy it. Why I call on this program is to alert people. I'm not saying anything to threat for living inside in the has this succeeded to murder my own brother, my own prolonged brother, the person that I anchored my hands with to say that we must support and restore Jaffa. The our mama used sabotage my blood brother. And they killed because of wisdom. They killed my brother. I'm not going to endure this forever. I want the world to know that my heart is broken. I am a dead man walking, an invisible man. I am not afraid. I know, and I promise you, because so that I must. 
commit, I must take blood. I must avenge to those that killed Ikonso. I am not going to give up to restore Biafra under the leadership of our leader, Mazina de Carlo. I am saying this for the world to hear. I have no name. My name is Biafra. Only the name that you can call me and I will answer is Biafra. As they killed my blood brother in Kosovo, they will hear the hate. The head of Hopus or Dima, wherever he runs to, because he is the person we are going to hold responsible. He is the one that ordered those that killed my blood brother. I will map my use. Get ready to fish out those that sabotaged our brother. You have a hero, and you allow all enemies to come and kill the hero. I want the world to hear this. We are not going to forgive. We are not going to retreat. Neither we are going to surrender. I remain Biafra forever. As in the heart. As in the heart. As in the heart. My tears turn to blood. My tears turn to blood. And forever, I will not forgive those that killed Ikonso and the entire family. Thank you. Thank you. You see the reason why I don't want to continue this program. I have feelings that Ikonso men, those that love him, so passionately are going to come. And when they call, when they cry, their cry affects me. But yet, I'm still borrowing tears from those that has it, because I don't have a tear anymore in my eye. Welcome to the program, I see the heart. I see the heart, Nassar, but talk on me. Go ahead. Um, my brother, my eyes are filled with tears, but I cry no more. Since yesterday, I've been crying. But I cry no more. As you hear my voice, you already know who is talking. But one thing I want to sound clear to some of my Biafran brothers who are meeting, I want to sound this as a warning to all of them coming to your platform lamenting. This is not a platform platform of lamenting. My father once told me because my father was a which you know. He once told me that action speaks louder than voice. Let them not come here to this platform lamenting, staying in their comfort zone, sending voice messages, sending words of what they are going to do. It is time for action. But one thing for sure is I want to sound this also as a message. As I'm talking to you right now, you know every information I'm giving you is direct. As I'm talking to you right now, the family of Fuchi Mofo are on the own. But I send the message across that they can run. If the family run away, the mother's side can run away. If the mother's side run away, the father's side can run away. If the father's side run away, the wife's side cannot run away. You know who is talking, and he is listening to this message, and you know exactly who is talking. You know exactly who is talking. I swear by the land of Biafra, I swear to God, I don't swear anyhow, but I swear to the God of Biafra, anybody that has hand in the hands of the consul, they will pay. I swear to God who made me, let everyone and every bear witness, they will pay, starting from Ujemofo. They will pay. Not only them, their entire family will pay severely. You know, when we are talking about a consul, so many people are just hearing the name, they don't know who a consul is. 
They don't know what the consul can do. They don't know the capacity, the capability, the ability, the wisdom, the power, the model of the consul. Some people don't know what they have until they lose it. But one thing that gives me Call it more. At all of them, which you know, they can never eliminate all of us. I kill my enemy, but want to kill me. And anybody that supports my enemy, that want to kill me, is my enemy. I go after the person. Take note of what I'm saying now. Which I'm for. But my brother, I have no. People see it, and we have people on ground who are the ones we are the ones on ground. Let God, heaven and earth will pass away if if Biafra did not come. Heaven and earth will rather wipe out the whole eastern everybody in eastern land for Biafra not to come. Is that all? He's in trouble. He knows very well he's in trouble. Is that all? They are in mess. They are in trouble. Is that what is okay. in trouble? It's okay, brother. He's jealous. He's okay. in trouble. He's okay, He's brother. He's in trouble, my brother. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. They are in trouble. He's in trouble. He's okay. in, okay. in trouble. You say you are not going to say something, but at the end of the day, you are about to say something. That is what I'm telling you. My brother, my brother, okay. my brother, my brother, okay. my brother, 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 my I know the people that the council have told me that if anything happened to him, they should be held responsible. And my next program is going to expose them. Yes, my next program is going to expose them. So get ready. I will mention the names that the council told me about before his death. From our mama. From our mama, his own father land, those that planned his death. Those that sabotaged. Those that monitor his going and coming out, coming back. When he enters his father, excuse me, when he enters his father's house and when he when he goes out. All of you. My God, my God, who no guardian do not throw it, Guru. He made Mazanam the coming to cry. To shed tears. He made Biafrans to shed tears across the globe. If you are a Biafran, I repeat again, and you are you love Mazen and the Kano, and you are following this movement, and you like what we are doing, and you appreciate the consul's work protecting our land against Fulani Hesme, use the consul's picture as you are on your timeline. Even if it is only one
with. That is only where the world know that yes, that this guy that they killed. is a freedom fighter. When you call me, don't tell me good afternoon. Don't tell me good afternoon. The afternoon is not good. Tell me as in the hall, now so you go talk him. You are telling me good afternoon. For what? Don't tell me good afternoon, please. Don't tell me good afternoon. The afternoon is not good. I don't need this kind of call. Please. I need not this kind of call. People who doesn't listen. I'm not here to entertain anybody. I don't, I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not here to make you like my program. Don't like it. I am here to bring information to you, to tell the world what is happening, to show my grievances, and for you to express your own grievances, not to come here and be talking as if you are sleeping and telling me good, good afternoon. What is good about the afternoon? I am upset. My brother, my brother has been killed. He committed no crime. He was not tried in any judiciary. No court tried the consul. No evidence. No evidence was held against the consul before he was murdered. They caught him while sleeping in his house and they killed him. No single evidence. He was not tried in the law court. Why was he killed? Because of the order given by the Eastern governors that he should be cast and killed because they wanted him to work for them. He said, no, I'm not going to work for you. I'm very, very sad. I am very, very, very sad. In case you don't know, I want you to know it now. And men are very, very angry. The one of you be the ma. If you love your consort, if you love Biafra, if you love Mazana Mikanu, appreciate the consort, show him respect. By using his picture, go to my wall, Prince Darlington, upload it there, upload it there, and show your consort appreciation. men that understand the song that these gallant men we are singing in that video only intelligent people understand that song wise men alone not fools not cowards Today, consul is no more. Welcome to this program, Asidehor. 
Go ahead. My brother, I am sorry to say I am from Rome. I'm living in Italy, in Italy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry of what happened yesterday. My brother, I am very down. I am very, very down. I am telling the truth. Because I know it goes so when I left that when I left that woman, I am from Obatima. It's just after Obatima, I get to Barok. After Barok, you get uh, Umog. See, I know it goes so when he was in technical in the school, he went. <sighs> My brother, no problem. I just called to tell you that we, the our mama youth, we didn't know that it was like this. But we know our brothers that are involved in these things. We know all of them. I'm sorry to say this because I sent you a message yesterday, but it didn't reply me in your messenger. Because I was so annoyed you since the weekend. There's a number that I gave you there. That's the boy that is working with Zona Boy. He's the person on the ground working with Zona Boy. This one I know him very well. Excuse me. I'm very, very annoyed. Excuse me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do not want. Dear yeah, friends, I want you to listen. Dear yeah, friends, listen and listen attentively. I do not want anybody that will give any false information about those that have hand in the consul's death. I don't want it. I am not the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazenan the Kano is. But I have a direct information from Ikoso himself when he was alive. The names of people that he also mentioned for me, I shall unveil. I, the blood of any innocent person over a concert day, I will not partake in any atom of, should I say, connection that will take the person's life. I am not involved. Even the people that kill the consul, I don't have any powers to kill them. I have no gun. I have no bullets. I only have my platform. I have my mouth to speak to the world about what is happening to us. Accusation is coming left and right from center, from different places. But what I'm going to report here, if I lie, let you go to Kabiam and take my life. I will report the truth. I'm nothing but the truth. The people that he also told me when he was alive, these are the people that are after my life. If I die, hold this person responsible. Hold this person responsible. Hold this person responsible. Hold this person responsible. He told me. And his conversation with the idiot he called Eziawo, he told me everything. So, my brother, please, this name, this name you just mentioned now, do not. I repeat, do not use because somebody have done something in the past against the struggle to connect him with what he may not know anything about. No, no. Listen, 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 listen. I am from our mama. I am from Imo State. I am from Anambra State. I am from Enugu State. I am from Igodomi Igodo. I am from it does say I'm from all part of Biafra, but I am a man that stands by the truth always. I don't that entertain, I don't entertain anything that will happen to any innocent person because the death of a consul is paining me more than any one of you. You people don't know the bond that bind me and the consul together. The consul is more than a blood brother, what to me. So please, so, please, 
what I'm saying is this. Before you pass any information or mention anybody's name, make sure you have your evidence. Because I do not want to, I do not want to allow the names of people that may be innocent to be mentioned on this platform. At the end of the day, people will say it is on this platform that they mention this person's name. The name you hear me mentioning, I have backup truth about their complete about their about their hand in what happened to Koso. And it's proven because he also told me himself before he died. His conversation with these people, the people that came to visit him. I beg you. Yeah, Commander Dalenton. Commander Dalenton. Um, I, I I already know what you're saying. I already I, I, I already decided to 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 not to say it here. You understand that because only I want to the extent of now I or I just that's the that's the answer you will that was in a GPO. GPO journey at now Ujaba, GPO on Ujaba. See that now nobody should talk this person because only I will run on our own. On our government here, and uh, it is there to fish out all the RTOBs. The GPO used his mouth to read your Why, yeah, brother? Listen, listen to me. You know, listen, hold, listen, hold, hold, listen, hold, 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 what freedom fighting is all about when you call somebody's name and say you the person you are looking for that person and the person heard that you call his name will the person wait for you to come and catch him no end this program I will, I, will, I will end this call from here if there's any information you have about anybody you know what thank you you, thank you, you. you know thank what you. to do thank you yeah, for us, I see the horse, not sure they talk. No innocent blood will be shared because of Ikoso. No single innocent blood will be shared because of Ikoso. Because Ikoso did not share the blood of any innocent person. And not nobody at all that can come up to say that he killed Ikoso. That, that Ikoso killed him, sorry. I know what I'm saying. This platform is not a platform where you come and dance. Welcome to the Hello. program. Welcome to the program, I see the heart. I see the heart now. So with the talker, my brother. Go ahead. Good program. I did, I'm talking uh, about this from uh, USA, from America, and I have one suggestion. I am asking that the first thing that I am suggesting that we should do is to find a way all these governors that are involved we are here in america we know their children where they go to school some of them are in class with us some of them go to the same school with us first of all we want to get all these governors and use them as an example once we can use them as an example other people will hear and if there is any place you can have us to send there children information their schools some of us have their private phone numbers because we go to classes with some of them when we send it to them, and we're going to uh, suggest for our leader Martin and the to ask all the children of all those governors to go back to nigeria within 24 hours and that all the governors that are involved these are the people we are supposed to be, be chasing we are supposed to be chasing. It's also good to chase everybody that is involved in our mama, and our Uchemefo, Obido, Bienu, anybody that is involved. But the highest powerful thing that we are supposed to do is to use one of the governors or some of the governors and their children as an example. Then the Afro will come. Trust me, they are in high in all over here in America, their children are scared. They don't even want to say their name, but we know them. We know their phone numbers, their names all over where they go to school in Europe and America. 
You're going to see what is going to happen. And also, to have our leader, Master Nandi Kalu, to command within 24 hours that all the children of these governors and whoever betrayal or threatened to go back to Nigeria. That's when you're going to see the shaking. That's my suggestion. I don't want to take too long. But I need a place I can be sending the numbers of their children, any computer that we may have, their children too. That is somebody's child that they kill. They kill somebody's child, so their children that are going to school here in America with us, I am suggesting that we provide a number. Even as I was, I know I see as I was on Facebook stop, talking nonsense with them. Who tell me why I look video all this year? Let us use anybody we can catch as an example. Yeah, setting houses on fire is okay. Let us go to Jennifer House in wherever he is from. Set his house on fire. The money that he took from bribery and build all those mansions. Go to a video in Obiel. Set it on fire. Every threat out and even go to the government house. Let us go closer to Hope Put on the Let us go jump into that very government house. Once one of the governors are used as an example, all these uh, military and all these people will run back. Because they want to, all they're trying to do is to divide us and, and rule, to put confusion, to put confusion among us. So to get out of that confusion, we're going to use one of the governors as an example, and other governors will stay calm and mind their business and fight for Biafra. All we need is Biafra. And nobody can stop it. Even some of us here in America, we are ready to die. I am ready to die. It's like this life I am, am I am I happy? I am ready to die. Provide us with a number and see what is going to happen. We have been marching from Washington, DC. We have been shaking from New York. We have our iPod everywhere in America. It is recognized. The White House recognized iPod. Presidents have said a lot of stuff. So let us change the governor. One example with one governor. One governor will bring us Biafra. Watch. This is a distraction. Yeah. What do you think is Ebubago? Ebubago are CID for the governor. The, the governors are scared. This Ebubago is what they provided to give them information and security and whatever. And the Muslim land, the Kalu should also, our leaders should say to every Biafran, if you get caught uh, sabotaging Biafra, uh, get information and we check you out and they find out that you did it and whatever, you are in trouble with your family. Even the son of God, Obidio Bienu, Muslim land, the Kalu should ask Uchame for them, don't go back to Biafra land. He should give authority. He is a, power, a powerful man. When he said no, no market day, no market day. Even on the market, when Martin Nancy says something, it happens. They know. So he should say something about Obidio Bienu, Uchame for, don't go back home. You guys are traitors. They're the guys that betrayed him. They're the guys that betrayed him. I don't care. Everybody knows it. I'm sorry. I don't want to take your time. I know your money. And I'm mourning, and I'm crying with my three children. But please continue your program. I love it. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for your contribution. Thank you very, very much for your contribution. They are listening as well. That is the man, the, the, the mother, my own brother. That is the man they killed. Dodogu, Ikonam. One million men, one million men in one man. One million men in one man. That is who they kill. I want mama why. I want mama why did you kill your own son? Why did you betray your own son? Why? That is him. So, so, so many people have not met you. So many people don't know you. But they are crying for you. They are weeping for you. They are mourning you because you gallantly fought and defended Biafra land to the last. Under your command in Imo State, no Fulani Hesman was killing 
and the raping any Biafra because we flush them out. Our mama, why? I will not stop asking our mama, why did you kill Ikoso? Why did you sabotage Ikoso? Why did you want the head of this man that have came to save us? No. <laughs> welcome to the pro welcome to the program. Don't tell me a lot. Tell welcome to the program. I see the hall. Oh. You are listening to yourself. Don't listen to yourself. When you call me, you go out of your listening device. When you call me, you move away from your listening device. I am not here to entertain anybody, please. I am not here to entertain anybody. At all, at all, at all, at all. I wanted to end it uh, to end this program a few minutes ago, but I decided to allow it to, because some people still want to call in. It is all about the our mama who betrayed the consul, the people from our mama betrayed their own brother. Wodike, Wodike, no go on, we fed the camera, so I did care. The one you also got the cage, now our mama. But we'll have millions of the millions of the consul out there. We'll have millions of you out there. I know they are watching, the enemies are watching. I know they are running away right now, but there's no hidden place for them all. No hidden place. As you have made the mother of this guy childless, so shall your own mother be childless too. As you have, as they raise their house down, there's no roof in Wokike's family compound right now. No roof. They brought their house down. They raised it down. They brought it down. They burnt it down completely. They committed no crime. They committed no crime. Ikonso committed no crime. Why didn't they judge Ikonso? Why didn't they take him to court? They would have taken him to court and judge him and bring evidence before him before they kill him. They killed an innocent man. The world should know that there must be justice for Ikonso. We are asking for justice for Ikonso for those that killed him. But we brought to book. Because the consul have committed no crime against anybody. And on this note, on this note, on this note, on this note, I'll bring this program to an end. But before then, before then, all of you should understand what we are doing. If we keep talking, Without action, they will keep killing us. If we keep talking without action, they will keep killing us. But they will kill us and will kill them. At the end of the day, therefore we come. That is the, that, that is the only thing we need to do. Let me go on this break. When I come back, I answer one or two calls and I bring the program to an end. There was a nation living in peace and unity. Yeah. They are people with love and harmony. Oh, yeah. They saw greatness rise up to his purity. Mm -hmm. We are not a people of different culture. I see an heritage, bias, and oppressive. Oh, I see, I see. A nation from the trigger of a return. Rising with sweat and might of valor In due time nobody gonna oppress us Rather you all gonna embrace us With the flag, with the flag, with the flag, with the flag Let the tears of our mothers Who lost their children be heard Let the blood of our heroes Speak from now till forever. Let the whole wide world know 
show the world that the consul was murdered and we love him and he's an innocent man there was no court that sentenced the consul to death for any reason he was killed because he refused to work with the enemy he was killed because he refused to to head the Ebubago, which was set up by the eastern governor that's why i told you it is the eastern governors that killed the consul Betrayed by his own brother. Dear friends, to the other mumma, if you love your consul, show him appreciation of what he has done. If you are afraid because you don't want to talk about the consul, the man that was fighting defending your land, then the enemies, when they come, you are. The number one target. The consul is no more here. He has done his own job. He left three children and a wife, a bereaved family, 
an IPOB member worldwide. But he fought a good fight. He said, I was not going to be alive for my mother to be raped by full and innocent men, for my sister to be kidnapped, for my brothers to be killed. I will never accept that. He wasn't killed in the battlefield. Koso was murder. He could not in his own house. He was kidnapped. They apprehended him. They took him away. And they killed Koso. Yes. We do go now. Koso, fight on for wherever you are. Tell Moshe. Tell Chinedu. Tell Jamaica. Tell Mikey, tell Ugreze, tell Unyeze that we are still fighting for the effort to be restored. Tell Ojuku, tell Achuzie, tell Onwatuegu, tell Uzogu, tell all these gallant men that are fought that our land may not be taken over by our enemies, that we are here, stay fighting, and we shall continue to fight until Biafra is restored. Great men die, great men are born. You die, but you are still in us. And on this note, this afternoon, I say, me chukuki kabiyama, oye puli mi yenine, grant you, I don't want to say rest, because you are not going to rest until you kill all the people that have, have hand in, in your death. In course of do not rest, I will draw that war. If I say rest in peace, that is a problem for me. You must continue fighting. Because I know you are a warrior. Our leader gave a best definition of who you are. One million man in one man. One million men in one man. That is who you are. And the IPOB are going to avenge your death. Your blood that have touched the Biafra land. For defending it shall not be in vain and their friends will never forget your family your immediate family and the extended family of their friends worldwide we love you so much because so you know that if i president in Chukwu became major Elezi, if i can do something to bring you back to life i will do it But there's nothing I can do. Now to continue fighting for that cause that took your life. But if Biafra is restored, I will shall restore Biafra and your family. Work your family. Umwaji, kindred, Umwokwe, community, and our mama as a whole shall know that you fought a good fight. You defended them when you are alive. We will never forget you. Because of, I love you so much. But you could carry my loss you more. I don't want to get emotional. Because when I remember you, what I want to say with my eyes. The world is recording how they are killing innocent Biafrans. They are watching, and it is time for them to stand up to give us our freedom. Because what we ask for is only about the freedom of people of Biafra. The life of this young man and those of our men that died along with him will not be in vain. And all you saboteurs, get ready. Biafrans, I want to leave you this afternoon. With only one question going to the people of our mama. Our mama, why? Our mama people, why? Why did you kill the consul? That is the question I need to ask. I cannot answer any call again. The program is for that. Wait, I will update you. If you have not followed us on ACD Hot Biafra TV, do that just now. Because my next program is coming to you on Asile Hot Biafra TV. That is where I'm going to tell you things that you need to know. And those that Koso told me that have hand in his death. 
those you mentioned that if I die today, these are the people to be held responsible for my death. Like that page. Follow us on that page as we are marching forward to restore our nation therefore. No man born of a woman can stop us. No man born of a woman can stop us. Their farm must be restored in our lifetime. And as he goes to have given his own death, he given his own life for their friend. We don't know who is the next, but we must continue. Thank you very much. And God bless each and every one of you that have watched this program as you share it. Thank you. And that from here. Feel.